Thank you, Madam President. I regard it as an honor to be able to make a few comments from the perspective of an historian. Uh, we are talking about one-fourth of the world, and the point has been made that if reparations were to be made to all of the former British colonies, it would bankrupt the Bank of England. Now, that may be a good thing, but I do want to make a few points from a historical uh, perspective. In the most famous historical case, the demand for reparations from Germany after the First World War contributed to the German financial crisis, virtual bankruptcy, and polarization leading to Nazi Germany. Reparations, in short, have usually not been a success and usually whet the appetite for more, even if it were to be decided that for ethical reasons that reparations might be a good thing, are we talking about entire colonies or individuals who might have legitimate claims for restitutions? There is, of course, a recent precedent of the British government two years ago agreeing to pay reparations to living Kenyans who were tortured and brutally treated during the Mau Mau revolt of the 1950s. In this case, there was existing evidence of torture and detailed and clear identity, detailed and clear enough to meet legal standards of the court. In similar vein, the United States Congress in 1988 passed a law apologizing for the mass internment of Japanese Americans during the Second World War and authorized a payment of $20,000 to each individual camp survivor. Most recently, there is a Malayan case. The British Supreme Court will hear a case over deaths in 1948 when 24 unarmed villagers were in executed by the Scots Guards. Now, these examples are relevant to the resolution, but not again does the, or to ask again, does the resolution include all former colonies rather than individuals? Would it, for example, include the American colonies in the 18th century? I asked the editor of the Washington Post about this, and he replied, what a jolly good idea. <laughs> and what is the definition of a colony? Which colonies is the motion intended to include? In East Africa alone, there are three different types of colonies. Kenya was a crown colony, uh, Uganda a protectorate, and Tanganyika a trusteeship territory. Uh, is Egypt, which was to be, is Egypt to be included, even though Egypt was a protectorate only for a short time during the First World War? Would it include, for example, the case of Iran as an informal dependency within the informal British Empire with exploitation of oil by the Anglo-Persian Oil Company, now known as BP? Well, I'm from Texas, and we follow the reparations paid by BP with considerable interest because once reparations are offered, they are very hard to limit with further and further claims at present, leading to billions and billions of pounds further. Uh, the system has run amok, at least from the vantage point of BP. And so, what, which colonies and how far back in time? And as I've implied, how to control ruinous sums? Another key question is whether the British taxpayer will accept the burden, especially with the passage of time when the facts become blurred or disputed. Another important question, how would the transfers be made from the British Treasury to the Treasury of another government, which might well be corrupt? How to ensure that the reparations would reach the poor as well as the rich? Would it be a one-time payment? If so, would it not bring about further demands for further compensation elsewhere? For example, if reformations were made to Jamaica, would it not lead to further demands to, for St. Lucia and the other dozen colonies in the Caribbean? Uh, nevertheless, despite all of these foreseeable problems, there are several ongoing cases in which reparations might be appropriate for individuals who were victims of torture. I've mentioned Kenya and Malaya, and Cyprus and Aden, and present-day Yemen, uh, Aden being present-day Yemen, 
are also places where there were cases of what Americans call enhanced interrogations techniques. And I should mention at this point, alas, that the British cases pale in significance in comparison with the enhanced, enhanced interrogation by the United States Army and the CIA in the last decade and a half. Now, the cases of Kenya and Cyprus and Malaya indeed are examples of systematic brutal interrogations of the 1950s and the 1960s and in, in the closing decades of decolonization. And to Kenya and Malaya, Cyprus, we should add Aden, where the brutality probably surpassed that of any other former colony. But in the case of Aden, virtually all of the evidence has been destroyed. And how would one make reparations to present-day Yemen? There is one other prominent uh, case of brutality. This is the British suppression of the Arab revolt of 1936-39, uh, and how to make reparations to Arab Palestinians without reparations to the Jews as well. In other words, Israel. Well, here's a very curious point. Such was the number of murders of the British soldiers and members of the Palestine police force by the Zionists, Zionist terrorists, as they were called at the time, should not Britain expect reparations from Israel? Now, I've emphasized financial reparations, but there are other ways, of course, of extending, in effect, an apology. Uh, and I would like, in other words, including the exploitation of natural resources, assumptions of racial superiority, superiority and so on. I would actually like to offer a solution or a proposal that would be the acknowledgement of a moral obligation. It is to release all of the still withheld secret and confidential files at the National Archives. I have mentioned Kenya, Malaya, Cyprus, and Aden, but there are many other former dependencies where brutality occurred and the full record has never been revealed. Disclosure of secret records in the Colonial Office, the Foreign Office, the Ministry of Defense would not only preserve facts for posterity, but would also be a way of acknowledging for the public record the darker side of empire. This itself would be a major way of acknowledging Britain's responsibility to its former colonies, complete transparency of what actually happened. Thank you.